Sketches are the building block for a majority of features inside of Libre Design. But before we jump into the fine details of how to create sketches, I do want to do a few housekeeping tasks. So when you first open up a brand new part, I would recommend saving that part to your file system. You get to that over here with either the little save icon at the top here or under file. It'll show you where it's been saved at. I've already saved this one time, uh, but I could change it and save as somewhere else. I could also export things like that at this same window. Um, I can define the material right here. I can add some descriptions, a part number, some version comments. Uh, you can add some properties as far as like who created it, when it was created, things like that. And those will be used later on when we create a bill of materials or add it to a drawing. That data follows it along. So definitely do these things kind of right from the beginning. That way you defined where this part is on your file system and any information that's related to it. All right, once we're done with that, go back to our main work environment here, and let's go ahead and start a sketch. Now we have a few different ways we can start a sketch, but when you have nothing in your part, you're starting with a blank slate, you have to choose a plane. And we've got these predefined planes right over here. So planes, X, Y, uh, Y, Z, and Z, X planes. You can also create a new plane by clicking up here and creating a new plane if you needed to, but most of the time you're gonna start with one of these three fundamental planes. You can right click and say activate 2D sketch here or control K or you can come up here to activate 2D sketch at the top, right? And it says select a sketch plane, right? And because I'm not seeing them here, I can also go over to view and say, hey, I want to toggle these references on, which is going to show me all these planes and axes and things like that. And you can turn these things on or off if you don't want to see them. So I'm going to go ahead and just hover over this one, which is the X, Y plane, click on that. And now I'm in that sketch environment. Now, if you don't want to see all these things, you can, of course, go back there and just toggle that right back off, okay? Now, under 2D Sketch are all my sketch tools. And we're going to be going into and learning about all these tools. But the basics are, you know, your line, you got a rectangle, circle, commands. And if you've used pretty much any other graphics program, they're going to work pretty similar, right? So let's start with the line command, right? Click on the line command and click something like the origin. Click here and just let go of your mouse, right? And notice what happens. I've got a length and I've got an angle. It's just kind of hanging out there. If I move this around my screen, notice those things track, right? The length gets longer. It's giving me a heads up display of what these values are. Now at this point in time, I can type those in. If I type in like three, right? And hit tab, it's gonna go down to the next one. I can say 45 and tab, and it's gonna define that length as three inches and then 45 degrees. Pretty handy, right? And if I hit enter automatically just it just brings in and solidifies those values and now we're on to our next line right so now anywhere i choose to click it's going to keep going with this command it stays active right so i can just get crazy because click 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 things like that it doesn't matter i don't have to put those values in but i can at any point i could say two inches here hit tab i can say well let's go 120 degrees tab, enter, boom, it's there, right? So I can define this as much or as little as I'd like, okay? If you wanna get out of that command, hit escape. Okay, now I have the ability to start interacting with this sketch. So right here, I can grab this point here and I can try to pull it, but eh, it's locked, right? This is already defined, so I can't do that, but I can grab the point here, click on it. Oh, sorry, we're already in the sketch tool. So we wanna grab that and just pull it, right? So pull here. If I choose the line itself, I can't really move this one out here, but I can choose a line like this one and I can drag it out because it's not locked from this corner, right? So as soon as something gets locked down, it becomes fully defined. Now notice the colors, right? I've got red, which means magnitude and position are undefined. It doesn't know where this thing is in space, right? If it's yellow, it knows some of the information, right? It knows the magnitude, but it doesn't know where the position is, right? It, or fully defined is fully is black and it knows exactly where it is. So that's the first line here. And you can continue to make these lines more defined as you go, right? So I can start adding things like dimensions, right? So I come up here to dimension. I could say, hey, this line right here, let's define that as, let's go 1.5 inches long. Now it changes from red to orange or yellow, okay? If you wanna say, hey, let's define in, you know, we're here in the dimension tool again, we're gonna go ahead and define an angle here. Let's say it's 100 degrees. Now notice that changes to fully defined as a black line. Now you can continue going through here. Now what we're trying to get to at the end of this design here is a fully watertight sketch. 
right? So notice you got a line here, goes around here, around here, around here. Think about like a swimming pool, right? You have to have one enclosed boundary for to figure out how to create a solid. So to do that, of course, I got to go back over here to the line, start from that point there, come down here to this point, and boom. Now I've got an enclosed boundary, right? Now, if you want to have an island, hey, that's okay, right? If you want to have a palm tree, you know, an old island in the middle of your of your shape, that's fine, right? So let's go ahead and like grab a circle, put a circle right there. That's fine. Do you need to define it? No, you can leave it undefined. But is it good practice? Absolutely. Define everything. I want fully defined sketches as my goal in the design. But at this point, we're just learning how to use the sketch tools, right? And we're going to define and go in and work on a lot of these tools as we go through the course. But I don't want to overwhelm you. I just want to show you some basic tools to get started with and then start using them, right? So the first one we're going to use is that, is that line command. And then we'll jump into the rectangle and the circle. So all right now, let's just go ahead and turn this into a solid so you can see what I mean by an enclosed boundary. So deactivate sketch is one option. So just go ahead and deactivate it. And then I can say extrude. And notice what happens. It takes that shape and it extrudes it out. Notice our little island here, right? It's got a hole in it, right? Because we had an enclosed boundary around the outside and then we had this circle and it says, well, let's go, I'm going to fill in the space between the two and create that solid. Now over here, I can define how long or what's the depth. I can change the direction, like I can reverse it, right? I can draft it, right? I can do it. I can extrude it up to a depth, up to a mid-plane, dual depth, up to next, up to geometry. Got a whole bunch of different options here, right? And we don't have to go through and learn all those right now, but just I just want to present and let you know that there are options available, right? If everything looks okay here, I can click on OK, and now I've got that solid. So that's your kind of your basis for just kind of starting with a sketch and turning it into a solid. Now notice I panned across the screen. I just I'm actually holding down the middle mouse button so I can pan it back and forth. Again, just a recap, if you want to rotate the model, hold down your left and right mouse buttons, which will allow it to spin around, right? And if I want to zoom in or zoom out, I can scroll my mouse wheel to do so. Anyways, that's the basics for getting started with a sketch and turning it all the way into a solid.